Welcome to the Board Game Bar, where we make drinks that pair with the games on your table. Today we're actually going to be making a drink for Stuff, a game by Certifiable Studios, where you are birds trying to go on a mission, your characters hiring different teammates and completing a bespoke mission. So we actually started off by looking at a drink called the Aviation. We didn't like it, so we actually ended up coming up with something new. This is completely Dan's idea, so he's going to have to talk you through some of the unique aspects on how to make it. So let's just jump into it. All right, so today we are making It's a Bird. So this is our variation on an aviation. It's pretty different in the end, but it sort of came about as a couple challenges that were presented to me from Holly, who you guys might know from the stream. Uh, she had a bunch of parsley and she was like, you can't use parsley in a cocktail. And I said, that's wrong. So I put parsley in a cocktail. We also had pepperberry syrup, which was delicious, but we couldn't find anything to make with it. So this drink kind of solved both of those problems in one go. So we're going to stir it to start off with. We're going to start with gin. We're using a botanical gin for this one. Really sort of those, those earthy notes are really going to go nicely with the other things in the drink. So we're going to go 45 mils of our gin. This one is small batch from Queenscliff. So always trying to use good Aussie gins. We are based in Australia. That's very lucky we had enough of that. Don't mind that I also just spilled a whole bunch of it. Next, then I'm going to get some lemon juice. We use the pouch stuff because it's what we have access to. If you've got fresh lemon juice, absolutely use it. But for now, we're just going to go with 30 mils of our lemon juice. Uh, we're doing this one stirred because I don't want any froth at the end. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. It's really just it's really just for it, how it looks, and I want it to look different to how I made it last time. So we're stirring. Uh, so next we got our pepperberry syrup. So this is pepperberries, an Australian herb, used quite a bit in like a lot of restaurants here near us that are trying to use more native Australian ingredients. And these guys, uh, Melbourne Bush Food, they do a bunch of like these syrups that try and use native Australian ingredients, and we think that's really cool, so we're using it. So 15 mils of our pepperberry syrup. And then we're gonna go with agua. So this is a coca leaf liqueur, you can get it at most bottle shops. Um, anything that's in that sort of like herbal area of liqueurs will probably do the same job. This one's particularly good because it really sort of just matches those botanicals and works with the pepperberry. So we're gonna get our agua and do 15 mils of that. Got a nice bright green color. Pretty colors, you know, we like that. And lastly, we're gonna use parsley oil. So rather than use fresh parsley, we actually infuse it into an oil. Helps the parsley keep a lot longer, gives a lot more shelf life, and it's also gonna get a really concentrated flavor. So to do this, all you have to do is essentially blanch parsley, blend it up with some oil, and then just filter and strain it out. It ends up being like this really nice bright green color. And we just sort of go in with a few dashes of that. All right, so we are gonna stir this one. You could shake it if you wanted to. Um, you, if you see a lot of the parsley oil sort of not quite mixing in, but it is what it is. So if you shake it, they will probably all mix in a lot nicer. So we're gonna add our ice and then we're going to stir our drink. So again, you really just wanna chill the drink more so and mix it a little bit, get everything combined in together and we're going to get our low ball glass and just strain it in. No ice on this one. You could also serve it in a coupe, it would be nice, or a martini glass. You see you've got all those little, little green droplets. And the reason we didn't shake it is because now we want to get our parsley oil. Ideally you wouldn't have all the other little green drops in there, it's going to take away from it a bit, but we're trying things here. And you're just going to sort of put a few drops in and they'll just sort of float on top and it gives you a nice little garnish. And there we have, it's a bird. And there we have, it's a bird. 
So what should I be expecting in this one, Dan? Uh, probably uh, quite a lot of parsley based on how it looks on the top. But it's... Um, Actually, quite... surprisingly not. No? Okay. There's not that much of it in there, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't overpower the drink. I just wasn't sure with the droplets on top. But you should get a lot of sort of botanical, earthy sort of flavours. This was probably our dark horse from our, our little testing session that ended up being one of our favourites from the day, I'd say. Yeah, it's, it's a... It's got a sour component. Obviously, there's lemon juice in there. There's botanicals in there. Um, and the parsley, it's it's there, but just like when you're eating a dish, it's like it's that very slight, mm -hmm. subtle kind of flavour, which is really nice. Yeah. And actually, I'm actually okay with it being stirred now, because I feel like that helps the parsley come to a bit more. You actually really tasting the gin. The gin is important, so make sure you are choosing a gin that you like. Yeah. If it's a gin you don't like, then it's not you're not going to mask it. It's not mm. a hiding drink. The gin is no. going to shine here. Yeah, and um, that, that's that's the point of the drink, right? Like the other stuff's really just to sort of accentuate it, bring out sort of those more botanical notes of the gin, a bit of the earthiness of it. It's also a drink that you're probably going to get two games out of. I don't yeah. think you're going to finish this in one game. The games are pretty short, so they're probably what twenty to thirty minutes yeah. as well. Um, you, you could, you might get through one in a game, yeah. but I think that it is I a slower kind of I think you'd finish one comfortably in a game, but you'd be happy to wait for the second game to have your next one. Like it's, it's, it's a bit of a sipper. Yeah, it's kind of that that middle ground in which you'll have the first one. You might have a break for the second game and then go back for another one, yeah. the third. Um, whereas with previous drinks that we've made on in, like Endangered Orphans mm. with the Boogeyman Bramble. We, we were definitely able to drink that every single game. Yeah. You had one, you finished a game very quick and easy, but then you actually went back and had another one straight away. Um, I think because this one is a, I wouldn't, it's a, it's a, it's a stronger flavor for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, but it, it, it's one of those drinks that, you know, you might, you might have finished it by the end of the first game, but you're probably gonna actually just want that little bit of a, a breather from it yeah. as well. I also think the other, the other benefit to this is if you're hosting people, you've got people over for games night, the little drops of oil, it it looks cool. Especially if you've got lights on like we do. A lot of those little drops almost give like a bit of a sparkly look. So it's um it's gonna give you like something to talk about. It's a bit of like a, a bit of a showstopper moment as well. So you can sort of flex. The oil is really easy to make, so you can sort of have a bit of a, a moment. And it will last you a long time, that tiny little bottle that we have. Yes. Um, yeah, it, it'll last you a very yeah. long time because it's not something you want to go overboard on. No. So you definitely want to be um, yeah, yeah and, you, and you can just look up how to make that parcel oil online. It's very, very simple. There's heaps of recipes there. You to find. So that is It's a Bird. For the game Stuffed, make sure you check us out on Twitch and YouTube where we're playing this game live whilst drinking this drink. We've also got a lot of other videos out there where we actually play games, match them, teach you how to play, and just generally enjoy ourselves while doing it. We've got our social media channel down on the left hand corner here. Uh, we've got the app, app.gamesnight.fun, um, and just, you know, enjoy games and drinking responsibly. Responsibly. Thanks for joining us in this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Kerry. Um, and drinking this game at the same time. So we've also drinking got our- Drinking this game? <laughs> drinking this game, yeah. Did we also go through drinking how we got to the name? No, we didn't. In the actual video. Okay. It's not a particularly interesting story on this one. <laughs> Aviation, it's a plane, it's a bird, Superman, whoa. <laughs> that was for your benefit. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so gonna put that at the end. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, we got no. the end cut, it was like, it's a bird, it's a plane, whoa. Whoa, Superman.